All right, everybody, what is up? Welcome back, it's Thunder. Hey, we got some Nuketown gameplay here. Ooh, look at all the snow, man. Damn, the temperatures drop. All the sweat from these lobbies turned into snow, baby. And ooh, look at this quad feed, son. But uh, uh, one kill? What? That's all I got? All oh, those dudes look at the other direction. All I got was one kill? Oh my god, son. Oh, oh my god. Anyway, fellas, so I'm using the KN57. And oh damn what happened oh the maddox yep they just nerfed the maddox but as you can see it still puts in that work and i must admit this map looks cool and that's probably the only good thing i'm gonna say about it cool looking map i mean how does this map stack up to the previous oh nine bag whoa that was nothing that was nothing you guys see that i got the tack mask on so they buffed the tack mask and they nerfed ajax nine bang and that was the result I was stunned for maybe half a second. I was flashed for maybe half a Oh, strobe light shotgun cheese. Get out of my face, baby. So as you can see, Ajax 9 bang is pretty much useless now, especially if you got the tack mask on. And if you're coming into Nuketown and you're not wearing tack mask, then shame on you. Tack mask, a crutch perk. Look at this slob camping up here. Come on, dude. There's always going to be that one guy with the LMG in the window. There's always going to be that one guy. And I gotta be honest with you guys, man. I am not a fan. Ooh, little Demi Lovato Pro. Get my health right back, baby. I am not a fan of this map at all, dude. Sit down, son. Get on, baby. What? Enemy attack chopper? Oh, it's probably that camper with the LMG up in the window. Guarantee that chopper is his. Um, I'm shooting that shit right down, son. Where's that bird at? <laughs> Where's that bird at? Time to play a little duck hunt. Yeah, sit down. Sit down, chopper. Little Demi Lovato Pro one more time. Get my health back. Yeah, the chopper. You can't touch me. Where's he at? Get on, baby. That's all right. I'll take one for the team. I'll take one for the team. Trust me. If I let that chopper stay up there, man, I probably would have got like 10 kills on this map. So I'll take one for the team right there. And look at all the trip. Look at all the barbed wire up everywhere. I'm telling you, man, this map would have been a whole heck of a lot cooler if they disabled the specialists for this map. This map would have been a lot more fun. I mean, look at this shit, man. Dude's flying into window. I mean, look at this. This ain't the Nuketown that I remember, man. Look at all this specialist cheese. To me, the best Nuketown map was Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1 Nuketown was this shit. And I, honestly, the specialists just break this map. I mean, on a normal Black Ops 4 map, I mean, everyone's flying around the map with super speed. Everyone flying around the map like they just snorted 10 lines of cocaine and chased it with 7 cans of Red Bull. I mean, this, this map is absolute chaos. And how are dudes getting streaks on these maps, bro? What is going on? <laughs> oh my god, it's shot in the back. What the? Look at this. How bad are my teammates? These dudes keep getting streaks. Come on, teammates, get it together. Yo, I hate the matchmaking in Call of Duty, man. Oh, what? What? <laughs> oh, oh, LMG, I told you guys, man. The, that's all people run on this map. LMGs, strobe light shotties, snipers. Cujo, you little Demi Lovato Pro. Cujo, come on in, baby. Get the K9 unit. I see a lot of people always complaining about the K9 unit. Watch this shit. Look at the rampage. Look at the murderous rampage. Another, another LMG, dude. I mean, oh my god. If you ain't using an LMG on this map, then you ain't doing nuke down right, baby. Oh, no kill, K9 unit. K9 unit got annihilated. Oh my god. Why do so many people complain about the dog, dude? Why? <laughs> I mean, you figure a tight ass, chaotic, crazy map like this, the dog would actually put in work too because the dog could sneak up on people? What the hell? Yo, I need to make an LMG class. I need to make an LMG class. I need to make it. Why am I trying to use an assault rifle on Nuketown, bro? I must be out of my mind. But I thought the dog would be good on this map, but I don't know, man. No kills. Got annihilated. Who's running crash on this map? Son, who needs extra ammo? Oh, yeah. All the LMG guys camping. They're going to need extra ammo. But the dude's running around. We ain't going to need ammo. <laughs> we got the ammo on this map. I'll tell you what, fellas. I only died six times on this map. I was pretty proud of that. I thought I would die at least 20 or 30 times. At least. Now, only six death gameplay. You got to admit, that's pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive. I wasn't camping either. I was not camping either. I was running around. So how does this map stack up to the other nuke towns in the Black Ops franchise? I think it looks the coolest, but it plays the worst. That's my best way to describe Nuketown and Black Ops 4. Super cool looking map. Just plays like ass. Because of the specialists, it really does. To me, Black Ops 1 Nuketown is still the best. And, man, look what they did in here. It's a pretty cool room, dude. <laughs> it's a pretty cool room. No wonder why people love camping up here. It's a pretty cool room. 
Ajax, get that Ajax out of here, son. Why, why are people still using Ajax after that massive nerf? Ajax sucks now. Oh, we lost the match. 75 to 74. What is this, COD World War II? Oh, Mute Mac, the LMG guy. Here we go. Is that dark matter? Does this dude have dark matter camo already? <laughs> oh, my God. People, go outside. There's a whole big world out there. Go outside. Get some fresh air. Dark matter a month into the game. And here's the missile going off. And what? That was it? <laughs> Yo, man. Super cheesy, man. Super cheesy. Speaking of super cheesy, fellas, let's do my black market review. There you go. Some pink hair with a little bit of face paint there. That's worth a dollar. Oh, yeah. I'd pay a dollar for that face camo. Absolutely. Last stand calling card. Yeah, that, that's worth a dollar, too. Oh, yeah. Take my money. Take it. Reserve. The Black Knight LMG does look pretty cool. Oh, they just nerfed the Titan to shit, though. You really wouldn't notice that from that last gameplay, though, would you? But they nerfed all this crap. I mean, so four bucks for all this so far. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I don't. Oh, and another reserve. I don't think that's worth it. All right, guys. Let's get over to the black market here and let's see. Ooh, wait a minute. Where the hell's Blackjack? The Bone Crusher outfit. Legendary. How much do you want for this? Nine hundred cod point. How much is nine hundred cod points? I mean, the outfit doesn't even look that great, to be honest. Uh, let's see here. I would have to spend. They don't have a 900 cod point option, so I'd have to spend 11. I'd have to spend 10 bucks. <laughs> I'd have to spend 10 bucks to get that. To get that player skin. What else do you get? What else? Do, all right, you get all the stuff, not just the player skin. I don't know, fellas. Is this worth 10 dollars? What do you think? Drop down in the comment section. Would you pay 10 bucks to look like this? All right, you get uh, face paint too, man. Let's see. You get the bone crusher face paint. Uh. Muertos theme. Okay. Still not worth 10 bucks. Ooh, you get the decal. All right. Now it's worth 10 bucks. Okay. Now, all right. They threw in the decal. D absolutely. I would pay $10 for that. Just not going to do it, though, because, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to save up for Christmas. So uh, if I had, if it wasn't Christmas season, though, I would buy that. I would spend the $10. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Now let's move on to the Angelita. Oh, yeah. Look at this sweaty ass female character skin right here. Yeah, that just screams 5KD. Oh, yeah, man. I would definitely... I, mean, I wish I had the money, man. Oh, my God. I, I wish I had $10 right now. I would be throwing my money at the screen. Absolutely. This is fantastic. I mean, let's be honest. $10 is a bargain. Activision, $10 is, is too low. But, I mean, you should be charging 100 for these skins. Fortnite's doing it. Remember that sweaty-ass John Wick? That was going for 100 bucks, wasn't it? Oh, I know this is first person, but come on, man. The skins are still very important. Skins and decals, extremely important in a first person shooter where you can't even see the skin. I mean, look at that decal. Come on, son. That is just so fresh. Man, I wish I had the money. Oh, my fantastic deal, Activision. 20 bucks for these two amazing skins. And let's see. What do we got here? The baller gesture. Oh, wow, spinning a basketball in COD? I've always wanted to do that, for real. Wow, you can even purchase a 500 COD points directly. You don't have to purchase no 900 COD point option. Five bucks. Five bucks to spin a basketball in Call of Duty. Another fantastic deal from Activision. Spinning basketball now. Nah. Wait a minute, what else do we got here? Hold up, there's more. More amazing deals from Activision here at the black market. Look at this gold. Hero armor. Ooh, okay. I'd have to go out and spend another 10 bucks to afford this because 500 cop points wouldn't cut it. So, wow, I could actually get some gold hero armor without grinding? I could just purchase it directly? Oh, man, I've always wanted gold hero armor, fellas. Never got it in Black Ops 3, but I could get it here for the low price of 10 bucks. Fantastic. Ooh, metallic. Look at this. Man, these Black Ops, Black Market fashions for Black Ops 4 are incredible. Uh, let's see, this is 600 COD points, so to get it, I would have to purchase 1,100 COD points. I like the way you're thinking, Activision. I like the way you're thinking. Absolutely worth it. And, ooh, look at this. The Necronaut tag. Oh, and for the low, low price of 200 COD points. Well, it's 100 COD points, but you got to purchase 200 to get it. That's the way the whole hustle works. See what I'm saying? <laughs> so, amazing deals by Activision here at the black market. And you could 
probably pick up all these items here for like, well, I don't know, what, 35, 40 bucks? I mean, a tremendous value. I mean, where else can you go and drop that kind of cash and feel so good about it? <laughs> Yo, just when you thought the black market couldn't possibly get any worse. I mean, Triarch, actually, it's not even, Activision, what is this? What is this? Are you guys, are you guys serious? Where are the weapons at? How come we can't directly purchase weapons? Why can we just purchase outfits, spinning basketball gestures, and tags? Put some weapons in here. Put some weapon variants in this shop, dude. I'm sure those are coming too, fellas. I cannot wait to see what the price tag on that is going to be. I'm out here charging a freaking two bucks. You have to spend two bucks just to get a tag. <laughs> How much you think you're going to have to spend? You're out here, they're out here charging five dollars to spin a basketball. How much you think they're going to charge for an actual Mastercraft weapon? It'll probably be like a hundred bucks. Anyway, guys, Nuketown in Black Ops 4 is trash, and the black market is even worse. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this upload. What do you think about all this shit? Drop down in the comment section. I'll see you guys on the next one, man. Five bucks to spin a basketball and cod. <laughs>